two old cars investigators pulled from Lake Foss, the remains of three people in each one. Debbie McManaman thinks this old Chevy belonged to her grandfather. I remember that green car, yes. Her grandpa, Alvy Porter, went missing 44 years ago when he was 69 years old. It's sad. I mean, I, I can see his tall, lanky body, you know, walking up to the car. He always had a smile on his face. She came here with her father, 85 years old. He suffers from dementia now, but he still remembers his dad as a rodeo man and wanted to see if the car brought back any memories. Does anything ring a bell with you about that car? I don't, I don't know. I just appreciate everything that everybody's doing to help find him. The Oklahoma Highway Patrol actually found the cars by accident. They were using new sonar out on the lake and pinged the large metal. Sheriff Bruce Peoples says the other car, a blue Camaro, matches the description of a vehicle three Sayer teens were in when they vanished in 1970. Their families weren't ready to talk. As for McMahon, man, her grandpa disappeared when she was 13. It's been very traumatic. Um, I can, I can remember um, my dad having dreams at night and um, getting in the car as soon as he got off from his day job, taking my mom, and they would look and look and look any trace. If this is his car, they question who were the other two in the car with him four decades ago and how did the car end up at the bottom of Lake Foss? No, it's just a lot of mystery. It's a mystery. And maybe this is a step toward knowing.